you're wondering, this is Whirlpool model number seven. I mean, you can see that. So let's look into the, the money maker on this thing, right? It's the top. This has to do its job really well, or you can have a leak. Basically, you put the top tote, three to five gallon tote, in the top up here that punctures it, then you get your water through here, and then this can come out as well. Let's see. This reveals this coil here. Now, as far as what I think happens, I think I'm right, is this turns into a block of ice around this, and then the water kind of passes by and sits in this whole containment area here and then you get ice cold water because it just makes a big block of ice these coals do and that's what i've gotten out of it from researching i've never had a water dispenser before but this is what i gather happens this slides down in with some force and then you turn it over and center this up and it kind of locks it in and you just push this guy for regular cold water and I think this guy will just do room temperature water. I think that's a compressor down there which pumps the stuff through the line and creates like the chiller, the cold, the coldness. You can see they've insulated the piping going up and it cools up inside there with food grade piping. That's why that was like that stainless look and that's why I think it turns into ice. But that's the heartbeat of it all there. And that is a commercial grade one. Uh, that's why I went with this one. At least that's what said on the description. It didn't have the model number on Amazon, so I kind of took a leap of faith, hoping that this would be a good one, because I couldn't look it up by model number. But now I have the model number. I'm going to look into it, and my luck would be that this is the crappiest water cooler ever made. And once I start looking up the model number, but I hope not. And then there's your power cord up there. Uh, why did I get one of these top loaders instead of the bottom loader kind is because these to me are easier to clean uh, Yes, if they leak it could get nasty I guess because you have the weight of the water just sitting on top and it just it, it uses gravity to keep it fed in there to keep it uh, Contained and not pumping it up or sucking it up through a tube from the bottom so how to remedy that and hope nothing happens is to put a pan to set a pan or to set this into a pan uh, and just kind of glance down there daily making sure there's not some steady little leak in that pan underneath it like a drip, drink, a drip pan or catch pan whatever they're called so that's on your water heater type thing uh, put that down there and hopefully contain the water if it leaked a little bit and be able to see something before it turned into something worse I have the water cooler where I want it now I've taken out all the insides and filled this up with, I think it's a gallon of water and one teaspoon of bleach. Let that sit for 30 minutes and then we'll keep draining that out, running, we'll drain it completely out and then keep flushing water through to the bleach is gone out of it probably three or four times and just running water back through that to knock the bleach out, but that's just to clean it for the first time. That's something during the manufacturing process that I would recommend to do for sure because God knows the conditions and the grease and all that mess that's around the area there and in the shavings of things. But I've also cleaned, I dismantled, cleaned this, got this setting there for uh, to dry. And yeah, that's it. So 30 minutes from now, we'll start the process of draining, filling, draining, filling, clean out the bleach that I've put in there. So it says in the manual, this is a 40 minute time thing. So give yourself 40 minutes to get it ready. Um, once you get your water ball, you take the protective seal off the top of it, um, clean that off, put it on top of the dispenser and then plug it in. It'll take an hour for it to uh, free form that ice cube up in there, but you gotta have the water tote on it for it to do that, of course, cause I guess it's freezing the water around that, that piping, so that makes total sense, duh. But it also says it needs to sit upright for four hours to, to help with the compressor lifespan before you use it for the first time, before you plug it in. So if you lay it over and you screw the feet on, because it's got little round feet, uh, make sure to stand it up and wait four hours before you plug it in for the first time or before you put water in it and plug it in for the first time. 
it will help the lifespan of the compressor. Just finished unboxing, doing an unboxing video of a new subscription service called The Collector's Case. Watch the video because it's a Todd McFarlane box, pretty much. So if you're interested, watch that video first before you hit that uh, subscription thing on their website, collectorscase.com. Watch that unboxing video first. Uh, it may change your tune and mind about it. Going for groceries, and there is the list. We're going to the grocery store. Well, actually, we're going to Target first to pick up some medicine from there, but they close at 7 and the pharmacy, and it's 25 minutes, and I think we're probably 15 or 10 minutes away, so it's going to be one of those close call things to get the pharmacy to work with us there at the end, but we're also, like I talked about today, I've got the uh, water cooler, so we're going to pick up a couple five-gallon uh, jugs for that, and kind of veggies for the week to go along with our Nutri system, which is working great. I'm down like 13 pounds, which is awesome. And she's down seven, so that's awesome. Because men just naturally lose weight twice as fast as women, I think, and that shows through this process that we're going through because we've been equally eating the same thing. So, and you can just see that, that men just lose it faster or whatever. But, huh? I guess. We just left Target, which was a duddy for me, even though they completely switched around the electronic section. And normally my eyes get all bright and I turn into Puss in Boots off Shrek because the clearance on the end caps are like awesome. And sometimes I could sell stuff on eBay and, and make, you know, 50, 60 bucks off of it because it's brand new in the box, clearance stuff. But couldn't do it with what they had back there. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to make a, a comfortable 15 bucks income back off of it so i didn't feel like that was worth it but we did go to old navy and i got underwear out the wazoo because i like the moisture wicking boxer briefs and normally those are kind of expensive and every time i catch those on sale i try to buy those up in bulk so i got like five or six pairs for five a piece no there and, were three of these well two of them were because they were clearanced and the rest I think it was 940 something regular price and they were all half off so you know, your underwear Old Navy's a place to go because look really well stitched and those things last a lot longer than your typical Hanes. Uh, it's crazy how Hanes was the pinnacle of underwear and then all these moisture wicking fabrics come out and this really nice stitching and that just took it over but this vlog isn't about underwear. Also got shorts, two linen shorts, they were like 14 a piece or something like that, is that right? Something like that, but it was really comfortable and a terrific price. And I got some button-up shirts for the beach. Just finished going to Walmart. We went to Walmart with the anticipation of being able to get the five-gallon drums that you see back there. Because we got two of them so that we can always have one in the water cooler and to take the other one to exchange. If you buy one from scratch, it's 14 bucks. If you exchange it, I think it's seven. But we didn't get it at Walmart because they don't have it, and I thought they used to, but Home Depot does, so if you're looking for where to go get office water tanks, that would be Home Depot. We got the water tote in there. It takes an hour for this thing to, to run and to freeze up that reservoir in there to make your cold water taste cold, and like, here's your uh, dispenser for like cooking water that's not ice cold, and what that is is a separate, I think it's a taller, um, it's a taller thing that connects right to this so it doesn't pass through the actual ice or around the ice itself. So it's a little warmer and the cold one comes from a separate little reservoir or whatever drain, I guess, that actually passes through the ice. So then that's where you get your ice water taste from. It doesn't leak so far, that's a plus. And then listen to this, and I say listen to this because they said, oh, it may be no noisy for the first hour because that compressor is having to run to keep or to freeze that little ice reservoir or whatever. <laughs> so listen to this and see how loud you think it sounds. Yes, yeah, super duper quiet. I was expecting a lot louder of a noise. It's not that loud at all. That's awesome. And here's something that I did that worked out freaking beautiful. Mainstays, which is Walmart brand. Pizza cooker right here for a catch pan underneath. It fits perfect. It couldn't be an inch 
bigger or shorter or even a fraction of an inch bigger or shorter and it wouldn't fit or shorter. Yeah, not bigger. But anyway, and it looks good too. It doesn't look bad at all. It looks like it was made for it. So there's your $4.80 drain pan. And if you want to cook a pizza on it, you can.